everyday life from the significant to the petty. Time now for Christy Gustafson Barletti on 1077 GNA. Guns and stuff, beerlet. Christy, Times Jr. Beerlet. 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 Bearded lady. What? Come on. Oh, stop. Uh, Hi, Christy. Good morning. We're talking about inappropriate things that people say that amaze you. (laughs) Unfortunately, nothing you say amazes me anymore because you're you're always dropping them. Yeah, Christy, we love you. Dropping the offenses. So, Christy, we have weddings coming up, right? Wedding season, they say, which is always a weird term, but it is is an actual thing. Graduations are absolutely either happening or happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, Some of these speeches can be legendary. I personally love a good speech. I don't care if it's if it's at a company gathering, if it's at a yeah. oh I do I love best man and you know maid of honor toast. I love that because there's always the chance that someone can be uncomfortable. I live for those moments. Oh my gosh! And I just sit there and think, will you please stop because you're making me uncomfortable? And I hate. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love great. it. I love it. And That's you know it's great. funny lately. There's been several in the news, several graduation speeches where I think the uh, the graduates and the family and friends have been uncomfortable because people kind of go off script and go a little nutty. And so that made us ask readers and listeners, what's the time that you heard a speech, whether it was at a graduation, a wedding, in a church, somewhere else, that someone said something and you were just like, oh, I can't believe they went there. Or, oh my gosh, I have to tweet that because I can't believe they went there. <laughs> Your readers have been to some pretty, have had some pretty interesting scenarios. So oh my take God. a few and so, go and run with it. One of the, um, one of the, one of the, there were several that made me laugh, but one of the ones I had to mention because it was from Sarah Plant and it was at her wedding and her father got up there and started a speech and said like, hey, good evening. A good speech should be like a mini skirt, short enough to catch your attention, but long enough to cover the important stuff. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. One. That's a pretty good one. She good said, one. needless to say, I never forgot it, but I also did not forget the look on the priest's face who married us. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I and, saw one. There was a best man at his friend's second wedding. So he's at the second wedding, and he started off the speech with, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great? surprised my man Joe, may he rest oh, in peace. Oh, my gosh. That would have been the, a great life. He gave me the toast at you know, my second. <laughs> Maybe if it does happen again, I'll welcome everybody back. <laughs> You know, it'll just be a roast. It'll just be a Brian Cody. I, know. I deserve it. I deserve it. <laughs> well, then there was another woman who said that she, it was another wedding one, but she said the best man got up there and you know he was sober, but he said, I'm, and he was the brother of the groom. He said, "I'd love to be your brother because your new wife is hot and your sisters aren't bad either." And I play high. I play high school football, so shots all around. <laughs> Wait, what? Like it kind of runs. He's basically saying I have so many opportunities here, and I'm going to embrace it, including with the gr- with the bride. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's one way to help uh, your brother out. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, well, and one of the ones that I had was at a wedding too. I went to a wedding, and the priest gave a fairly lengthy homily, which is you know like the like the sermon. And I would say almost half of it was talking about how the couple should not have been living together before they were married. Wow. And we're Whoa. kind of looking around like, oh, wait, wait, why didn't you talk about that before you, you know, like in pre wow. or something like that? Yeah. It's a very opportunist priest. He's probably thinking to himself, you know, attendance at church has been very low. I finally have an audience. I finally have an audience. A in captive front of me. audience, right? He went off script and he's like, here I go. I'm going to share it. And wow, at the reception, insane. we were all like, there's no way any best man's speech can top that because it's all we were talking about. Yes, well, I'm going to uh, my nephew's graduation this weekend, Albany High. So uh, I'm not. I'm not hoping that something happens but if anything interesting happens yeah you never know because you submit the speech if you're the valedictorian you submit that speech um but no one's to hold you back of saying something else once you get up there there's no academy music to uh to drown you out (laughs) when they have to go to a break friends with the valedictorian no. <laughs> different circles. That would have been fun. I, yeah, I, 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 I see where you were going, Jeff. Different, different circles. I tried. I tried. Uh, Christy, thank you. Have a, have a great rest of your, your day. We'll talk to you next week, okay? okay